everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another night of Dead by Daylight. Uh, and I am uh, loading into this game. I'm not loading into a game. Uh, I will be loading into uh, game 33 of Billy with no perks and no add-ons. But it's a new season. Uh, I did not get... Um, I did not get to Eerie 1 on either character. Uh, I, I had a rough time of it. Sometimes that happens. Uh, but I got some blood points to spend. Uh, and in an effort to... Uh, just basically start the stream as soon as I could. I figured I'd just come and... Uh, Chit-chat a little bit here and there. Uh, some adds and odds and ends before I get uh, too deep into... Uh, I don't know, I haven't even decided what I'm going to talk about yet. But, um, I'm very excited about the new chapter. I'm always excited about new chapters. Uh, uh, I like, I like thinking about new perks and new add-ons and things of that sort. And, uh, I'm equally excited now. But for those of you who watch streams and things of this sort, uh, I can imagine you'd be interested to see me play, uh, or see anyone play the new killer. Uh, which I would love to do, except for I am a console player. Console players do not get uh, the PTB. So while I would love to uh, provide that sort of content, it's just not something that I am capable of doing. Uh, and as much of a downer is as that might be, you know, uh, sometimes you, uh, uh, you know. Sometimes you just kind of deal with what you can deal with, you know? Uh, in this case, um, you know, I'm just, really I'm doing this, hopefully for the same reason most people uh, start streams. They uh, they think it's fun. They want an opportunity to chat and hang out with people who like the same kind of things. Uh, and if it ever grows, uh, that would be a wonderful thing. And uh, if this grew in any certain way. Oh no, that's terrible. Okay, that's less... Oh, that's absolutely terrible. That's what, my, uh, <laughs> that's what I get for not paying attention. Um, you know, uh, is there a planet where, you know, I can sustain my family with this? And, you know, I'd switch over in a heartbeat. Uh, but that's not... Uh, that's not what's in the cards now. Uh... But what is in the cards is what I do when I play this. So if you're just tuning in uh, or you're watching this on YouTube, then uh, just so you know what I'm up to, um, <coughs> what I have done so far is I played 100 games of Trapper with no perks and no add-ons. And I, I played as sweaty as I can play to see, like, what can I do? What what can a guy who's trying his hardest do uh, with Trapper? And then I played 100 games of Wraith with no perks and no add-ons trying to see, like, well, what can I do? Uh, I didn't pick my maps. I didn't have any perks or any add-ons, like I said. Uh, uh, and, you know, if I, if, I, if I had to camp and tunnel, I camped and tunneled. Uh, if I had to, you know, slug, I slugged, I did whatever. And what I, uh, what happened was, is I won 56 games of Wraith and 57 games of Trapper. Uh, I think that there is, you know, when I play, it's not proof. It's not like, hey, uh, I did this so everyone can do this. Uh, I don't think any one person, uh, the greatest streamer in the universe, or the, the, the very young new player who never does this, um, no one person can represent the entire Dead by Dead community. Uh, my hope is that people will tune into this series, share it, uh, I really love it if people kept uh, uh, kept their own stats and said, "Wow, uh, you know, if this guy uh, if this guy can do this. What can I do?" 
Um, that would be awesome. However, yeah, they're not gonna, they're gonna take it. I hate it when you take it. Um, and I'm not even asking people to play no perks, no add-ons. I'm just, I'm trying to see if the only benefit I have is my best effort. If the only thing I can really do is my, you know, do my best, play my sweatiest. You know, really, what's it like? What, what, you know, what, what can a guy do to, uh, uh, further advance, you know, his progression to rank up? Uh, I, I don't know what my MMR is, uh, for the record, no one really knows. They can only make assumptions based on, you know, based on their own, um, experience. But, uh, if out of 233 games, I've won 56 plus 57 plus 21, uh, I don't know what my MRR is, but it can't be that bad. Um, and so, uh, I, I think, I think that there are some, some connections someone can make. Someone can sit there and say like, hey, um, you know, what, uh, you know, uh, you only win because you camp in tunnel. And I'm like, well, absolutely. And I think there are a great many killers who think, well, of course, I only win because I can camp in tunnel. So this is where, like, you got to kind of start thinking, like, well, okay, well, what does it matter? Like, it, if camping and tunneling is the viable killer in Dead by Daylight, then, then every killer is viable because camping and tunneling is viable. Now, some may argue, yeah, but that's, that's boring and unfun. And I'm like, well, yeah, but... Uh, I've never seen a streamer like, oh, I'm just here to have fun. This is a great time. I'm just going to get some laughs. And if they all escape, whatever, we're all having fun. I've never seen that. Um, uh, for me, uh, I feel like that shows a flaw. And the survivors want to make camping and tunneling in and of itself the problem. And the killers want to make gen progression the problem. Uh... Unfortunately, I'm a survivor main, so you can take this knowledge. I'm just being open and upfront about it. Uh, I think that you can't do anything uh, as long as camping and tunneling is on the table. Killers use that technique, and even they acknowledge it's not fun, but they do it because it works. And I don't, I don't blame them. I don't judge them, but I think that that's a problem. Uh, uh, so you have to take that off the table, and that means suddenly there's a big question mark on who's viable. Who's viable if, you know, your camping and tunneling is taken away? Uh, honestly, I haven't gotten there yet. I am winning every killer. One more than I lost. One more than I lost. So far winning way more than I'm losing. I think I'm at like a 62% win rate or something with Billy. I'll find out later. But... You know, uh, and maybe I lose every other game. Maybe I lose the next 68 games. And then I might feel differently. But if I'm playing with no perks and no add-ons, this game is not designed for you to play 100 games and never use a perk and never use an add-on. If I can play 100 games with no perks and no add-ons and still win, then, then that reveals an inherent problem with camping and tunneling because it's not a test of skill. It's a test of strategy. Again, I don't, I don't begrudge or judge killers who do it. I'm going to do it when I play this game uh, after I switch videos. Uh, but what's going to happen if I'm playing every bit as ruthlessly, but I got the meta build? And then suddenly how lopsided does it get the other way around? So if you take camping and tunneling off the table, then you reveal the strengths and weaknesses of the killers... And then you got to start figuring out, well, like, wow, the only killer who wins ever is, I don't know, Nurse or Spirit or, or, or Blight or, or Wesker. Uh, maybe. And then you can start, you know, looking into buffing these guys and getting their kill rates. If that's the met like, look, uh, I'm not saying kill rates is the best metric, but it's the metric Dead by Daylight uses. Uh... So the kill rates might be down, so you, you need to start buffing these guys and their powers to make their powers more viable in a world where they, they have to play the fun way. They have to chase and they have to tunnel. Uh, there are people who want to, 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 
to do it reverse. They want to be like, no, it should be dang near impossible for the survivor to win. But as long as you can camp and tunnel, what will happen is those real toxic guys, those guys who think winning is fun and who think winning like 4K, 5 gens is fun, uh, then, then the four out of five people who play the game are miserable and then they stop playing the game. So if you just step back and be real with yourself, no company is going to disappoint four out of every five customers. Like, how does that make any sense on a business level? I'm going to make four survivors angry and this one killer happy. That's, that, that'll, get, that'll get a whole lot of people on one end to stop playing the game. Uh, and I'm not saying you make camping and tunneling impossible and do nothing on this end. I'm saying you start there and maybe you immediately got to do some things, which you'll get into a video I'll do uh, uh, either this weekend or next weekend. Uh, because there are some things you can do in-game that guarantees every game is competitive. Uh, and I want to talk about that. Uh, and I'll probably, you know, ponder about it later as I play this game because I always just talk about whatever comes up in my brain. But... Uh, since I had blood points to spend and I didn't want to just do that without like doing anything, I figured I'd start here. I'm going to shift over. Uh, uh, I'm going to ready up and, uh, we'll come back in the next video and start talking about, uh, and start getting ready for an actual game and, you know, just start talking from there. So I'll be right back. <laughs>